Sean Dyke has warned potential Premier League vultures that Everton don't need a fire sale in the last few days of the transfer window. Amadou Onana, Jared Branthwaite and Abdoulaye Dukori have been linked moves out of Goodison Park, but Dyke insists the club's financial situation has stabilised since being hit with a 10-point deduction and facing a further charge relating to accounts up to 2023. Everton sold Anthony Gordon to Newcastle for £45 million at the end of last year's January window and six players including Alex Awobi left in the summer to raise further revenue. I think the club can at least control its finances at this time, said Dyke. Very rarely do clubs have fire sales. We are certainly not looking at anything like that. You want to keep your best players and I think the club are aware of that. We have thinned down the squad to a point where injuries do affect it. There is only so far that the cutting can go until you go right, we still need a group that are competitive. Some of the work from the last window is paying us back now because obviously it is in better shape. I've certainly not been told we have to do anything other than crack on with what we're doing. Everton are appealing the points deduction handed out for exceeding permitted losses between 2019 and 2022 and today's FA Cup fourth round tie against Luton is a welcome distraction for both clubs from a relegation battle. Ironically, Luton winger Andros Townsend is one of the players Everton had to sacrifice last summer when his contract ran out. Dyke celebrates his first anniversary at Goodison on Tuesday and admits, it has been interesting. Challenging, there has certainly been a heavy workload, off the pitch as much as on it. Helby without injured trio Abdullah Dukori, Seamus Coleman and Andre Gomez today while Ashley Young may be held back for the important midweek Premier League game against Fulham.